How's it going, guys? 1.57 a.m., 26th of February, Sunday here in Japan. We have a past level question for cardio for step one. Uh, nearly identical question shows up on the NBME forms. Not a dramatic clip, just cut to the chase here. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Give it a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group channel down below. Now start the clip. 23-year-old man, he's brought to the ED after he collapsed while climbing stairs, pronounced dead on arrival. One week ago, he was seen losing consciousness while playing soccer. Examination at the time showed an S4 heart sound, 2 on 6 systolic murmur. Question wants to know which of the following is most likely cause of death in this patient. Clearly, this is hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, sudden death in young athlete, autosomal dominant, beta myosin heavy chain gene mutation causing disarrayed myocardial fibers, and an anterior mitral valve leaflet, not aortic valve, anterior mitral valve leaflet that will close off the left ventricular outflow tract in the setting of high heart rate when we have decreased time for diastolic filling. That's when we get increased obstruction of the LV outflow tract. So this is going to be uh, diastolic dysfunction as evidenced by the S4 heart sound. Okay, so this just means we have increased afterload. We have a stiff left ventricle. This can be seen with systemic hypertension, aortic stenosis, Hockham, 2 on 6 systolic murmur. Okay, I mean, uh, systolic murmur, very generic here, but uh, we can get a murmur that sounds similar to aortic stenosis. So question just wants to know the cause of death in Hockham. Not dramatic, as I said, past level. So let's just whip through the answer choices. Choice A, cardiac tamponade, wrong fucking answer. You need to know cardiac tamponade equals pericardial effusion plus low blood pressure. Okay, so on US simile, this is going to present as Beck triad. Number one, hypotension. Number two, JVD. Number three, muffled or distant heart sounds. Often, uh, I'd say almost always, you're going to have at least the hypotension, the JVD. Sometimes they don't have to mention the muffled or distant heart sounds. Plus or minus pulses paradoxus. Okay, so you can get a drop in systolic blood pressure greater than 10 millimeters of mercury with inspiration. Cardiac tamponade, you're going to see on ECG as your first step in diagnosis, electrical alternates, low voltage caress complexes. Then you're going to do the echo to confirm the diagnosis. Then you're going to do a pericardiosynthesis or pericardial window. A lot we can talk about. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, dissection, wrong answer. So aortic dissection could be from hypertension, cocaine use, causing medial necrosis of the aortic arch. Uh, an Ehlers-Danlos-Marfan syndrome also causes cystic medial necrosis, can be buzzy term that's applied. You can get a retrograde propagation of the dissection toward the aortic root, causing aortic root dilatation and an aortic regurge, which would present as an early diastolic murmur, okay, decrescendo holodiastolic murmur. You get dissections of other vessels as well. Vertebral artery dissection shows up on neuroforms for TCK. Can create a false lumen with a clot in the vertebral artery, launch off to the posterior to the brainstem, posterior stroke. They want heparin for that. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C myocardial infarction, wrong answer. So this is going to be atherosclerosis. There's no atherosclerosis in this patient. Okay, I've seen students choose this answer. There's no infarct. Okay, so if you have an MI, I mean, the major risk factor for that is going to be diabetes, smoking, hypertension. Those are your three biggest risk factors for atherosclerotic development, okay, causing an MI. Long discussion, clearly MI, you're going to see ST elevation, STEMI, so aspirin, first drug we give in, a, in an MI, followed by a paramedic arrival, they're going to give dual antiplatelet therapy with clopidogrel. Long discussion, in this case... Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, re-entry and superventricular tachycardia. Wrong fucking answer. So very verbose answer choice. Just threw this in here to be a flagrant asshole. Okay, so I mean, this could refer to Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome, OMG. So see a delta wave, slurred up stroke on ECG. So the way this could apply on you similarly, apart from WPW syndrome, is they'll give you a patient who has a prior MI. They'll give you a big fucking paragraph. They'll say in there that there are Q waves in three of the leads. Q waves on an ECG mean history of MI, prior MI, okay? So they might give you a big paragraph. They say Q waves are seen in leads two, three AVF, history of uh, inferior MI. And they'll say a patient has lightheadedness unexplained. And they'll say, what's the most likely cause? The answer will just be some random arrhythmia as one of the answer choices, like re-entrance superventricular tachycardia or paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia, or VT or SVT, it doesn't matter, okay? Because if you have fibrosis of the myocardium from prior MI, that's what sets you up for abnormal conduction patterns.
Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, ventricular fibrillation, correct answer. So you need to know that the most common cause of death from Hockham is acute left heart strain precipitating a V-fib. Okay, this is also the answer slash the most common cause of death due to MI. Okay, so you get abnormal conduction of the myocardium acutely that can precipitate a V-fib. This is also the most common cause of death in pulmonary embolism. Okay, a patient has acute right heart strain from, let's say, a saddle embolus, and that'll precipitate a V-fib. Okay, not a hard question. Right? It's a past level question. For some of you, this is too easy, but I've got to check the box on these high yield concepts. You know the deal to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.